What's up, YouTube? This is Juicy J. I am getting sick of rocking my jam without a couple of things. Number one, I'd like to get a little table back there so I can have my cell phone on it so it's not dropping off my leg. It's kind of awkward to rock with my headphones in and and not have a place for them. Um, I'm not really addressing that today. Um, what I am addressing is a cowbell. And I have a cowbell. I found it at Harbor Freight. It wasn't very expensive. I thought, you know what? I just get it. I'm going to get that sucker. So I planned on it for about three seconds and I brought it home and I realized I have no hardware to uh, to install it so what I'm gonna do is a little tutorial um, on how to mount a cowbell without buying all of the proper uh, hardware that's gonna cost me an extra 30 or 40 bucks which you know some people maybe that's a a small price but you know what I'm not a pro and uh, and money's tight sometimes. So anyway, this is what you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need the cowbell, some fuzzy socks, a drill, a drill bit, a set preferably, um, and obviously you're going to need a little bit of know-how. So here we go. Alright, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the set and see where we're going to place it. So, um, the easiest way to place this thing is by taking and removing your um, symbol, your symbol nut here. So, um, I'm going to mount it here. So that I can, so I can rock there. I just thought about putting on my ride. I may put it on my ride. Um, if I do, it is the same diameter or smaller on that. Um, if I was going to do this one, I'd have to get pretty, uh, pretty intricate. So I'm not going to even touch that. So we're going to take this off, and you're going to take the inside diameter of this nut so the inside of that sucker and you're gonna find the drill bit that matches it so I've got a drill bit here that fits nicely it will go in it will spin so that's what we're gonna be drilling your hole with so you're gonna get your cowbell and it's got this around the top and I'm gonna drill right through the center of that thing um, it might be nice to have a measuring tape anyway you can whatever I'm just gonna freaking freehand it cuz I have eyeballs and I think that I'm pretty good with them so here we go one thing that so one thing that will help um, you do this easier is light. Uh, the other thing that's going to help you is if you mark this center and take a pilot and go through that, that might might make it a little bit easier. It depends on how good your drill bits are or whatever. But I'm just going to go for it. Um, I may not show this part just because operating a drill one-handed is not my not my preference. So anyway. I will get back to you with how it went. Alright, so upon further review, a good idea is to start with a pilot tip. This is a, a bit that will be smaller than your end hole. Um, a pilot is good because it will drill through uh, the metal faster and give you... Uh, it will actually make it easier to drill. So, Alright, so using a Using a pilot was a very good idea. It went very quickly. I tried to drill with just the size 
bit that I needed and that did not turn out very well so it just wasn't going very fast so anyway now we're going to install this this is a very hard one handed by the way um, oh by the way the bits the drill and this uh, cowbell are from Harbor Freight and uh, they're pretty inexpensive stuff I think I bought the drill for like I, I think it was like 30 bucks 30 or 40 bucks but if you wait to get your 20% off then they're even cheaper I think that's what I used on it so anyway I'm gonna go for this now and uh, we'll get back to you on how it goes all right the hole is drilled um, one thing to note about this hole it's in very thin metal um, once you get through the first part of this bit with it it will pull forward okay so when you're drilling it uh, be careful when you're getting close to breaking through the last little bit on the bottom of this what you're gonna want to do is just go very slow um, when it breaks through put it in reverse and that'll br it'll break off any um, any burrs that are in there that might be grabbing onto it so anyway let's see how this fits on there oh we got it actually this might th even thread on here um, it's a little bit too small so I measured I measured to the inside diameter of this and not to the threads so make sure you're measuring to the threads we're gonna go one size bigger alright so just for your information this ended up being a 5 16 hole and I used a 11 well, 11 64 pilot hole which is just a smaller hole if you don't know your measurements but anyway so this is gonna fit right over top like this I think I'm gonna put it this way though um, we're gonna have to get fancy now because it will uh, it's bottomed out see it's touching it's bottomed out so I'm gonna have to take this put it in the middle of this and then lower it down and tighten it as I go alright so here we go we've got it started it's going on it's tightening up that looks good that's pretty secure so I guess uh, now that all that looks left to do is peel off this sticker and uh, get to jamming